Uh, so hi everyone. Today we will try to understand how Cock Young Kasami algorithm, that is CYK algorithm, can be used to generate a syntactic parsing tree for a given uh, uh, text in NLP. So assume that we have a particular sentence, book the flight through Houston, and we wish to generate a syntactic parsing tree for this particular sentence. Also, uh, before moving ahead, I would love to know. I would wish to say that ki, uh, for this particular algorithm, you need to have a basic understanding of what is context-free grammar and what is Chomsky normal form. So, if you don't have that, do go, do go to my previous videos and just have a brief introduction. Ki how what is a CFG and what is a CNF and how a CFG is converted into a CNF. So, uh, for now, assume that we have this particular sentence. If you already know this, uh, let's move ahead. So. Assume that we have given this particular sentence, the uh, book, the flight through Houston, uh, and we have given this grammar rules for language. And, uh, start symbol generating NPVP, start symbol generating aux NPVP, and now all these uh, rules have been converted into Chomsky normal form. So do remember the three rules of Chomsky normal form that uh, A generates B or C, so that a non-terminal state should be generating two non-terminal states. Uh, so as you can see that. In this particular case, it was generating three norm, uh, three non-terminal states. So we have grouped up two normal, uh, two non-terminal states as x1. Then we are out of this one rule. We have breakdown. We have got multiple rules. So this is how we have converted this particular rule into Chomsky normal form. The other rules being uh, a non-terminal state should end in a terminal state, or s should end in a epsilon. So these are three rules, and each rule has to uh, sync up with at least one of the rules. Uh, that is. Uh, a no, a non-terminal state uh, generating uh, two non-terminal states, a non-terminal state generating a terminal state, or s generating an epsilon. So I won't be going on how these rules are generated, are uh, converted from uh, a normal grammar to a CNF. Uh, this can be um, followed in a previous video. So assume that we have been given this grammar uh, and we have converted that into a Chomsky normal form. So now let's get started and book the flight through Houston. We have generated a empty matrix for now. We will start filling this matrix from bottom, and we will straight and we will move on uh, from one one by one row, filling up this matrix. So how to fill this matrix? Let's first of all understand that. Uh, so we will start filling the matrix from this particular point that is four comma five. Uh, so uh, the basic idea of the CYK algorithm is that uh, given the particular sentence, uh, per particular segment for this particular index. So for for four comma five, we have got the uh, uh, text Houston. So as you can see that uh, we have uh, removed the lower triangle of this matrix. This is because first uh, in the first lowermost row we are assuming just Houston. In the second lowermost row we are assuming uh, we are considering through Houston. In the third lowermost row we are considering flight through Houston, and so for uh, and in the topmost row we are as uh, assuming the whole sentence. And uh, we will be filling this matrix uh, from. Uh, to, uh, bottom top approach. So we will be first of all filling the lower rows, uh, lower values, and then the values in the upper cells. So let's get started. So first of all, we are filling a value of Houston with values n p comma proper noun. Why? Because so what we are trying to do is that we are trying to figure out rules in the CNF. This particular CNF, uh, which are fulfilling this particular condition, Houston. So uh, any rule that has a uh, generating uh, generating Houston. Uh, on the right hand side would be considered. So these are the two rules that are generating Houston on the right hand side. NP comma proper noun. So NP generating Houston, proper noun generating Houston. So these are two states that are generating Houston. Similarly, now we'll go to uh, in a diagonal way. Uh, we will be filling it uh, in a zigzag manner. Four comma five, then three comma four, then three comma five. Then we will be again moving to two comma three, two comma four, two comma five, one comma two, one comma three, one comma four, one comma five, and so forth, uh, so on and so forth. So uh, now, as we move on to the next uh, lowermost row, three comma four. Uh, uh, so we have got that uh, token through. So how through is generated? Through can be generated using some rule prep generating through, prep arrowhead through. So this would be a rule that is present in CNF. Assume that uh, as uh, we haven't mentioned the, as in the CNF, in this particular image, the terminal states are not mentioned properly. So I have written below that there are a few rules that are pretty obvious and that should be understood, like noun Houston, proper noun is Houston, uh, determiner is the preposition is through. So these are the POS tags for these tokens. So assuming that we all are understanding this. So uh, for three comma four, uh, preposition is generating. Uh, so there is a rule. Uh, there would be a rule that would be generated. That would be like preposition 
arrowhead through and that rule has been considered now when we move to 3 comma 5 uh, this is a bit tricky so what we need to do is that we need to consider all the previous tokens as well in this particular row so as i told you earlier in the first uh, in the lowermost row we were considering just houston in the second we are considering through houston so when we move to 3 comma 5 we would be considering the rules that would be generating through houston for us now you got my point right and not just houston so uh, if you look uh, how we are going to fill out the 3 comma 5 value so we need to figure out uh, rules that can generate through houston so how we are going to generate how we are going to figure that so we would be cross joining the rules of through and the rules of houston and then uh, getting an answer for that and eventually we'll be searching which rules are generating this particular combination so the rules generating through is prep and the rules generating houston is np comma proper noun so we'll be cross joining them forming prep np and prep proper noun i think this can be a bit confusing right so these are the two combinations that we have generated prep np and prep uh, proper noun now now uh, for uh, prep np and prep proper noun uh, we need to figure out uh, rules that can that are generating these but these uh, to uh, either uh, both the or any or any one of the rules so we would be considering that particular rule and that but and we'll fill that value in 3 comma 5 so we have figured out that pp generates uh, a prep proper noun so pp uh, preposition pp arrowhead prep proper noun is the rule that is present in a cnf hence 3 comma 5 becomes our pp now we will again go back to 2 comma 3 uh, flight so for flight the rules that are generate that are having a uh, flight as a terminal state is nominal comma noun now as you can see 2 comma 4 is empty why so because uh, it is considering all the tokens that have occurred already for that particular sentence. So fly through. As I told you that we are adding words one by one. So uh, at 2 comma 4 we would be considering these two words together. Flight through. In this case uh, flight through as flight has rules nominal comma noun. And through has rules prep. We will be again cross joining them forming nominal prep and noun prep. Now there is no rule present in the CNF that can generate this particular combination. Right. Non prep and non prep. Now there is no rule in the CNF, so this would be left as a blank. Now we move to two comma three, two comma five. This is again interesting because now we will be having uh, two words in the background: flight through Houston. So now uh, this can be uh, this particular cell uh, needs to consider multiple combinations. Now flight through Houston can be uh, segmented as flight comma through Houston or flight through comma Houston. Uh, as you can see here. Uh, flight through Houston can be broken as flight through plus Houston or flight plus through Houston. Now we need to figure out all the possible combinations that can generate these two sentences. As you can see that uh, flight through doesn't have any combination with us. So uh, we are left with just flight through a uh, flight plus through Houston as a rule. So as you can see that flight is nominal noun, nominal comma noun and through Houston is PP. So we would be cross joining 2 comma 3 and 3 comma 5 forming out rules nominal PP and noun PP. Now rule 14 states that nominal gives out nominal PP. Uh, if we go back to our CNF, uh, you can see then how nominal is giving out a nominal PP. So uh, one of the condition is getting uh, fulfilled for us uh, in this particular example. Hence 2 comma 5 would be filled with nominal this value. Because uh, we have figured out a rule uh, that generates uh, this particular uh, any of these particular combinations. So uh, I guess you might have now uh, gotten a sense of what we are trying to do. So as we reach out to 2 comma 5 we are considering all the three past uh, tokens. Flight through Houston. Now flight through Houston can be written as flight plus through Houston or flight through plus Houston. So uh, as flight through doesn't have any particular combination present with us. So we would be considering just flight plus through Houston. Now for flight plus through Houston, what we are doing is that we are picking up tokens present for flight and we are picking up tokens for through Houston in 3 comma 5 because you know that uh, when we are filling out 3 comma 5 we are considering the back tokens as well. And we are making a cross join between them forming out combinations nominal PP and noun PP. Uh, and then we are trying to search in the, uh, in the particular CNF that we have 
कि whether any rules that fulfills any of these two conditions is present or not. If it is present, we will be filling this value. Uh, now we will be going to one comma five. Uh, I am skipping all these three uh, conditions as it will be very lengthy. Uh, when we go to one comma five, we are having the words the flight through Houston. As don't forget that as we are moving up, we are adding up a token on the left hand side, and in the top most of we will be considering all the tokens, right? So the flight through Houston can be broken into uh, these particular combinations: the plus flight through Houston, the flight plus through Houston, the flight through plus Houston. And I have also mentioned which cells are to be uh, cross joined together to form the combinations. So, uh, so this is how we would be uh, filling out the cells uh, till the very end. Uh, that is zero comma five when we are considering all the tokens uh, of the particular sentence. And if we don't get a particular combination we get uh, a blank here this means that the particular sentence is not syntactically correct so this is how you can learn uh, how uh, how to figure out uh, key whether a particular sentence is syntactically correct or not using the cyk algorithm now if you wish to get that parse tree also so you can see that uh, we need to trace back to all the cells uh, like uh, in the last one as you can see that we are having s comma vp comma x2 uh, in which all these three are non-terminal states. So we need to trace back where these tokens are used in the particular matrix. And then we need to expand that uh, past tree uh, in that sense only. Again, uh, 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 an interesting example would be if we have multiple values coming in, in the last cell that is 0, 0,5, it means that the particular sentence can have multiple meanings, right? As it can be uh, passed into multiple segments, uh, into different uh, combinations of segments also. So this is very interesting. So as you like uh, now using the CYK algorithm, we can get two things. One is the uh, three things. One is the parse tree. Secondly, we can know whether the sentence is syntactically correct or not. And third thing being uh, whether the sentence has multiple meanings or not. So if in the last cell we are having multiple rules coming in, this means that uh, the tree has uh, the sentence has multiple meanings.